dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's G.I. Joe Renegades. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is the 14th and we're taking a look at the animated G.I. Joe Renegades. That's right, and this is an animation from Hasbro, like so many other great animations are. Uh, and this is a retelling of the old one, and it's kind of got like this 18 vibe thrown in. It's it's actually a really fun anime, and I was very surprised. 18. Yeah, 18. There was a whole lot of 18. Oh, 18. Eight, I thought eight, you said 18. A, 18, 18. <laughs> like what? <laughs> 18. Did he be best into them? No, or? no, no, like Bubba and... Um, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it is a really fun uh, anime. I was actually very surprised to like it so much because the the, old, the last G.I. Joe show that I really liked was actually the original when you had like the red and blue lasers and no one hit anything and it felt like A-Team in that sense. In this one, it's a little different in that uh, the team of heroes, your your favorite G.I. Joes, they all are... Uh, they're 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 kind of framed and so they're running from the law just like in the a-team and so they're kind of trying to redeem themselves while helping people out just like the a-team it's got almost yeah. the exact exact storyline with that that's kind of where it falls off it yeah. does, they don't really take jobs for hire they're just trying to well know, they definitely defeat. help people for hire. they're trying you're to right. out they're cobra not, yeah, they're not that's... they're out cobra uh yeah you're right um but they're, they're not mercenaries like A-Team was. So uh, why don't you just go ahead and take it away? Yeah, and, and he's used the word anime, but it's it's you know it's an American animation, but it is kind of that style, very you know sharp edges. It's more of that you know, kind of like neo-animated style that looks a lot like anime. Right. Anyway, uh, I, I was kind of surprised. Like, I was a fan of the G.I. Joe cartoon when I was a kid, but if I watch it now, I, I just want to fall asleep. It's so bad. There's like no sound effects <laughs> except for the guns, which are just repetitive as hell. Nobody ever dies. No consequences. Nothing really even happens. And and you'll get like this weird like, I am Zartan, you know, kind of thing. And it's like, it's stupid. It's really bad. Well, I mean, I was, I, I, someone had said to me once that if you watch the old, the only reason that we watched the shows that we did as a kid was for that opening sequence, like the Thundercats opening sequence. I am fighting for freedom. It. Dude, there's just yeah, no, was there. Thundercats. The opening theme was just running, and it was a lot of action and a lot of energy. Same with Transformers. Although I think Transformers had, gave, I should give Transformers a little more credit, but generally the the overall show was kind of slow because, you know, they they didn't have a lot of money to you know do an entire series, so they had to really make do with what they yeah, had. Yeah, they didn't do sound effects, they didn't yeah. do music, they, right. you know, but this was the worst one. Because Transformers is still one. watchable. Yes. Uh, but this one, it, G.I. Joe is not. The it's original, horrible. not Renegades. I, I freaking love the movie, which actually has a little bit more production value when I was a kid. I just oh, loved the, it. the old anime. I had it all on Betamax or whatever, yeah, okay. so I watched it over and over again, I loved it. Uh, no, I'm not talking about the live action. Um, so, so, anyway, I wanted to revisit this, and I wasn't expecting much. And I was kind of pleasantly surprised. Um, I've never really liked Duke, and it kind of stays that way. I, just because he's the, the, the whatever. He's, I, yeah, he's the Boy Scout. He's recently the, uh, decided hero. that the reason they do that is understandable because they're trying to get everybody to relate to one guy. Kind of like, hey, I could be in that position, you know, whatever. So he's pretty bland, just kind of for that reason. But I think I think the front man is always supposed to be that kind of pillar of excellence where that's what you have to look up to as a young boy. I you know, think that's, that's bullshit. That's I mean, well, I mean, I think that's what they they well, do. I, I but like always... Batman. Batman is the great leading man, right? And he's not that way at all. Right, but as a kid, and I then never... you get like Captain America. As a kid, I never wanted to be Batman. I always wanted to be Optimus Prime. So. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> I just want to transform into a truck. Exactly, here. exactly. No flesh and blood, just robotic parts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but then you'd be really sad, because unless you want to make out with RC... That, well, that who was doesn't? <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, so, so I was kind of pleasantly surprised by this. It's not a terribly long series. Um, and it's really an origin, like... Unfortunately, you only really spend time with the kind of the the meat and potatoes of the GI Joes. You know, Scarlet, Duke, uh, Block, um, uh, Roadblock, and Snake Eyes. I mean, that's really it. And then right. you get and you Tunnel get, Rat. You get Tunnel Rat, but I never knew him from whatever. We get some of Flint, which he was a huge part in the original animation. Um, but it's kind of like the seeds of you know new stories. And then it's like, hey, that's no job. Hey, <laughs> you know, like funny that name. 
uh, and then like, hey, that's barbecue and stuff like that. Yes. So I enjoyed that, and I really, if this animated series continued, I might really enjoy it because they did set up that kind of stuff. I love the the um, spin on Cobra uh, Cobra Commander, right? And Zartan is pretty interesting too, although I'm not sure. But I forgot how many dreadnoughts he had. Good grief! Uh, and then I I do not like what they did with Serpentor, uh, but I I kind of didn't like him in the original series. He kind of took the place of Cobra Commander for a long time. Yeah. It's like, it's surprising how much I remember from that show. Because now when I watch it, it's just so, like, painful, and every episode is exactly the same. That kind of thing. But this one is actually fairly interesting. So I, I actually highly recommend it. I watched it all kind of in a span of two or three days. It was it was compelling enough for me to start. And I don't really enjoy the movies, honestly. I don't. Um, the old... The old or animated movies. No, these movies. Oh, the, the, the new, new live action. Like the live action movies. Yes. I don't enjoy what they're doing with that, although they're okay, I suppose. I haven't seen the latest one. Um, but I like this animated version, and, and I would be interested to see where it goes. I relate to some of the characters, you know, root for them. There is definitely that 18 vibe for sure. Yes. You know, you definitely get that. Let's, you know, all, all they piecemeal need, this truck together too, you know, kind of. All thing. they need to do is drive around in a big van. Oh wait, they do. Yeah, and and um, but it's interesting because you know we get some dynamics between the characters, and that's fun. And yeah. then you, the whole thing with Ripcord is interesting. I, I, yeah, I wanted to bring that up, but I didn't because it's kind of a spoiler. But yes, the one thing fun. I don't like, I think overall, and I think this is just you know because of the new era, is the gelatinous freaking uh, you know stereotypical. Whatever being the the what were they what were their names the the fill in for the robotic soldiers that right. they used to have those guys were friggin' cool those right. are my favorite toys too I still have some somewhere where they like you could have like a claw arm or regular arm or a cannon or whatever and um, now they're just globule whatever and I right. I hate that I really do they don't I, I don't know but it does lead to some interesting things like hybrid kind of stuff but. I'm really sad that they took that out of that because I love that cold robotic well, kind of nature of they might Cobra. still they might still bring it in. I mean, it's still. I, a I don't know if they're even going to do this though. I don't think it was very well received because I didn't even hear about it, you know, kind of thing. So, so I don't know, but I, I don't know. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I guess not because this this show came out in 2010. So I, I guess if they were going to do more of it, they would have by now, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it was kind of like, oh well, that movie wasn't so great. Let's do an animated, you know, real quick yeah. and try to bring people back in. And and that's unfortunate work. because this one actually did, like you said, reminded me of the the show that I used to love growing up. You know, where you had all the toys and each character was very unique. You had the sailor looking guy, and then you had the you know other looking guy, and it's like, oh, they're all they're all had their special abilities. Oh, this one's Aquaman, ha ha ha. You know, that kind of thing. You know, where they all they all have their special abilities. Yeah, the and, team assemble them. Exactly, and then each one has a specific job in the team. It's just so cool. You know, why does this guy always carry around skis? Because you're going to need him in this episode. Yeah, and I like, you know, the spin on Destro and all that stuff. So, yeah, there, there was a lot to like about this. And unfortunately, it was only the one season, 26 episodes. But it was a good series. I, I, I highly recommend it if you're interested. Yeah, well, I'm glad to hear you say that. Um, I'm not sure I like it, you know, a whole lot. But it's one of those things that is pretty solid, and if you're interested in GI Joe, it's kind of a fun thing. And I mean, Yo, Snake Eyes is awesome. Yes. You know, it's kind of like I always loved him as a kid, and I still love him. So uh, everyone's favorite. Yeah, I really do enjoy this. And uh, yeah, so the animation style is, uh, it, like you said, it has that kind of anime quality to it, but it works for this, and, and the voice acting fits just you know right in. It, it totally works. Uh, each character has a unique voice in addition to their form, and it totally just makes the anime so much or animation so much cooler i i i really dug this and i was very happy that you brought it to my attention yeah I, voice acting is all good yeah music is decent yeah yeah the, i forgot about the music i don't remember much about it but yes it was a good show that that's good in my book yes honestly yeah so so again i wish they would kind of capitalize on that but i just i don't think it was successful enough yeah oh, I, I was I, gonna bring up that's what i, I forgot i was gonna bring up the um they had a web series that had to do with the movies and that was actually really good. And like Cobra, like killed a million people in that. It oh, was, really? It was interesting. It was kind of hard hitting. It's only you mean like, like a live part. action. Web no, series? it's only like a five part animated series that kind of oh. goes along with the movies, like in between them or whatever. Okay. And that one was actually cool. And uh, so I would love them to do even a more serious because this one definitely feels like I, the closest I can think of besides A Team, which is different, uh, is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I kind of got that same kind of fun, friendly vibe, but had a kind of a kick-ass theme, yeah. you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I just, I don't know, there's something about it that reminded me of how I felt when I watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but that also could have been because that was the last 
animation of the childhood that I really watched. Yeah, it definitely came in later, yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I, yeah, it's good. I don't think it's quite as good as that, but... I think it's worth checking out. As you just watched, like, the first two episodes, and if you like it, just keep on watching. It's only 26 episodes long, so... Yeah, it's lighthearted, kid-friendly. Yeah, yeah, check it out. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I think that's it. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a card game, our print shirts, stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. And please bear with us as we are moving across country. We're moving for jobs. Uh, we have been employed by Game Salute, and uh, they help bring indie games to market, uh, board games, card games, what you have you and so we're really excited about that we'll be telling you much more about that in the future uh, but for now we're upheaving our lives and doing lots and lots of packing so we can travel across country with all our junk and set up our new studio and all that stuff so please bear with us uh, we will try to get these dual reviews out as we can but if we miss a week here or there uh, please forgive us and uh, thank you for your support and for sticking around all right guys see ya yo joe oh no <laughs> I had to miss that one. Next time on Do Review, it's the Lone Ranger. Duke, Snake Eyes, Scarlet. I like that her name is Scarlet O'Hara. I forgot that her old name was O'Hara. Uh, Roadblock, Tunnel Rat, and Ripcord. Are you sure it's O'Hara? Yeah, her last name is O'Hara, but her first name isn't Scarlet. They just named her Scarlet. Hey everybody, today is the 31st and we're taking a look at G.I. Joe Renegades. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, everybody. Today is the 31st. No, it's not. You've been doing the wrong dates, man. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice that. Shit. Ah. Oh, because I left it the way it was. Because I wasn't thinking. Shit. Okay, so it would be 11 4. Son of a bitch. Damn it. So we're just going to do the. Not far like a funny little thing. What the fuck is going on here? Yo, Joe! Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh. If I hadn't missed that one. Wah, wah. I was a little too eager. I was say saying bye before you even said bye. I was like, look at my... Again, I can blame my gun. And I will.